Okay, so today we are going to be talking about the RX 590, which just launched by the time you're watching this yesterday. Um, I'm joined today by my brother, who also has a YouTube channel, Minecraft Phenom 08, I think it is. For, yes, that's um, correct. And I'll link that down below, but we're going to be talking about the RX 590 today. And I have pulled up on screen that chart with the 21 game average of cost per frame for the 590 and it actually fits in fairly well when compared to the uh, Nvidia lineup as well as the Vega cards but um, there's one big problem that I see with the 590 and from looking at reviews and that is the 580 yeah is I see the same thing <laughs> yeah and, and and I'm gonna pop over here to uh, new egg looking at 580 8 gigabyte models you can find readily available on new egg with free shipping if you have Newegg's Premiere or whatever, but you know three dollars and nineteen cents isn't really a big deal. Uh, there's some open box 580s that are one hundred and ninety dollars, and it looks like the cheapest one that's brand new is an ASUS model for two hundred dollars even, along yeah, with and a, an MSI, a Gigabyte, an ASRock. You know, you know. Uh, the ASRock one though, that looks like a mining card with just a DVI out, so you probably wouldn't want that one. But there's a lot of good uh, coolers there. You got the Power Color Red Devil. Uh, the ASUS cards typically have been pretty good on the cooling solution, especially with the 580, which isn't that hot of a card to begin with. The thing is, there is a little bit of value to the 590 because it comes with free codes for three games. And some people will likely see value in that. And the three games are Tom Clancy's The Division 2, Resident Evil 2, and Devil May Cry 5, I believe. And so if you're looking to pick up those games anyways and you need a graphics card, then the 590 might be a good deal on that front anyways. Um, yeah, I, I would I would tend to agree with that. Um, if you are, yeah, if you're planning on picking up those games, then absolutely. But um, that that deal is worth throwing out a little asterisk there because these yeah. 580s, let me see if I can figure out which ones they come with, but they come with two games. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Uh, da, 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 da. And those three games the 590 has codes for are not out yet. None of the three are out. So the thing is, no one's going to have those yet unless you pre-order. Well, and what what did you say those games were? The uh, Tom Can Clancy Division 2, Resident Evil 2, and Devil May Cry 5? Is that what? Yes. That, yes. So so the, the 580, you get to pick two of the three. You can pick two okay, of the three so, of those well, games. Then... So unless you're getting all yeah. three yeah. of the games, like you're really wanting all three of those games, uh, there's... <laughs> eh. Now, what's yeah. interesting is on Newegg, um, you can actually... Ah, you, it won't let you. Never mind. Never mind. Um, it, it had a, a purchase button for the, the co for the codes for $100, but it forces you into a bundle, so... It doesn't. No. It doesn't actually let you buy because that actually would be. <laughs> oh, by the way, Newegg has these game codes. Not a bad deal. Um, yeah. So, so these five eighties are coming with uh, two of the three games. So that really, to me, almost completely negates the argument of look. I, I just I want the games and I get the performance bump with it. You know, um, at that point, you get two free games with a five eighty, which for two hundred dollars yeah. and two free games. That's a pretty phenomenal deal on the 580 side of things. Actually, I think the 580 is a great value when you compare it to like the GTX 1066 gigabyte version. I was gonna say, it's what's a the... shade cheaper typically, and it performs pretty much on par. Now I'm looking at 1060s, and they also offer a free game, but it's Monster Hunter World, which if you wanted it, you probably have it at this point. If you didn't want it, then you probably don't. Well, not only that, but with PC gaming, and let's go off topic just a bit here, I'm popping over to G2A just because uh, yeah. Monster Hunter, uh, you can get for if $41, so it's still fairly expensive even yeah. on a place like G2A. But, um, and what where I was going with that is games that have been out for a little while, uh, especially if you're looking at those CD keys or G2A, those types of sites, uh, typically the price falls a little bit quicker than it will on Steam on those sites. So it, it could be a $60 game on Steam, but it may only be yeah. $35 on a, a place like G2A. So um, if you're wanting to get around it, 
then that is a, a pretty quick way to get some cheap games. And, and really, yeah. G2A from the get-go, you can get new games usually 5 or $10 off even. So... Uh, I've never used it, so I and I have several times. I've used CD keys before. I've used G2A. Um, I've never had an issue with them. And uh, well, like Kerbal, uh, I told you I got the expansion. I got it for about half off going through G2A. I think is what I got that one on. Nice. So, anyways, uh, the recommendation that I would give, and you can sort of shoot me down if you. Uh, you completely disagree with this. My recommendation, I don't, I, I, I don't think you will either, but my recommendation is if you're looking at 1080p gaming and 1080p gaming is sort of difficult to begin with because um, it is already crowded with cards that sort of fit the mold of a 1080p yeah. card, both on the used market, well, really even especially on the used market because that <laughs> brings in other things like the uh, the 970s, <laughs> the 480s. Um, if you're not worried about high refresh rate gaming maybe you only have a 60 hertz monitor or you're not playing esports games that really need those really high refresh rates maybe you're looking at things like 470s and 570s um yeah. it, it's just a crowded market and i don't see a purpose when you're looking at uh uh performance gains that are claimed up you know 10 or 15 percent but you're paying a lot more than 10 or 15 yeah. percent for those gains you can you, yep. when you can get a brand new 580 for 200 dollars. well uh you're paying what 30 40 percent more something uh, like that yeah something like that the return just isn't there and and then like hardware unboxed i watched their review which is also uh, one of the reasons i pulled up their chart um one of the recommendations there was if you really want the 590 then just save up the extra money and get a 1070 instead because that performance gap between the 580 to the 590 is, I mean, it's there, you know, 10, 15%. But then when you go from the 590 to the 1070, it's a much larger gap. And the price difference that you have to save up even more is about the same from the 590 down to the 580. Gotcha. Um, so I, I, I think the takeaway for me anyway is um, if you're a 1080p gamer, the 580 is a phenomenal value if you're if you're if you're stuck on getting a brand new card. My recommendation is a 580 right now. Um, and if you're willing to look at a used market, you can get 1070s cheaper on eBay than a brand new 590, and you'll get a lot more performance, and you'll actually be using less power as well. Um, now, granted, going with a 1070 used is sort of a, uh, a gamble because yeah. you know there are a lot of mining cards out there right now. Um, and the 1070 was a very popular mining card um, earlier this year and late last year. So, <laughs> so it's a gamble for sure. Yeah. Um, but that's recommenda my recommendation. Um, I don't know if you have any other thoughts on that particular matter. I mean, that's pretty much the same thing, I think, unless you want all three of those games in which you might want to look at the 590. But uh, since the 580 comes with two of them, then yeah. Right. 580 is probably the way to go. So I, get, I guess the... Um, the sort of corollary there is if you fit the very niche crowd <laughs> of wanting literally all three of those games uh, and you are planning on buying all three of them brand new when they are $60 games, then you might want to think about the 590 because you will get some more performance yeah. out of it. But if you are only looking at two or less of those games, uh, then the 580 is the way to go. Also, and this is worth pointing out too, um, and I don't know the way they do their game codes. I, I know this was a thing that was looked at being sort of boxed in a while back with some of these uh, promotional things. But um, if it's possible, and you would have to look into this a little bit further to make sure that it is. But if you don't want those games, um, that could be a great way to sell off those codes and recoup some of the uh, cost of the graphics card in the first place. Um, especially right when they launch, you know, if you bought a 580 for $200 and you have two game codes and the games are retailing like at $60, which I assume all those games will. Um, yeah, probably. But if you could sell those codes for 45 a piece on like eBay or wherever forums, wherever you go, uh, you could very quickly recoup a lot of the value and end up with a 580 for a net cost of like 120 or 130 uh, dollars depending on how much ebay's cut ends up being or how much you end up spending on uh maybe there's a, a fee for the forums that you use or whatever uh maybe yeah. there's some sort of overhead but you could recoup a lot of the money by getting the 580 and the same is true of the 592 um so yep. i guess my recommendation it sounds like yours is to for the most part uh pass on the 590 
um, and move on to a different card. Uh, probably a 580. Sounds like that's your recommendation as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I, I, I would echo that. Uh, right now, graphics cards, ironically enough, a year ago, especially the AMD cards a year ago, we were in just yeah. terrible situation. The NVIDIA cards hadn't gone down the toilet yet a year ago. That happened right after Christmas. Um, <laughs> but go with the 590. Um, we obviously want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below, though, so leave those comments down there for us. I know I'll be down there checking out those comments. I imagine... Um, Aaron will be as well. Um, I'll leave links yeah, to I his would. channel. Um, and uh, yeah, if you're into Minecraft, his channel is a place to go, especially if you're into modded Minecraft. Um, definitely some interesting content there. So uh, comments down below, like, share, subscribe. All the social media information should be on the screen right about now, as well as a couple videos from my uh, haunted past from my channel. Um, I'm Shane with Hoosier Hardware, and I'll see you guys in the next video.